This video will introduce you to running Vericut Force. Here we have a Vericut Force training project open. First, let's review the Tool Force data settings in Tool Manager. We highlight a specific tool and then select the Tool Force data tab. The features on this tab enable you to specify cutter and feed optimization characteristics for tools to be used by Force. Notice that the chip thickness limit and force limit settings are both set to zero and that the add more cuts option is checked. This is the same for tool 2. First we will run force in analyze mode to collect data that we can use to populate the chip thickness and force limit fields. To do that we open the optimize control window and select the force settings tab. The features on this tab enable you to control when and how NC programs are optimized with Vericut force. Let's set the force mode to analyze and select a folder containing the force material file. A force material is a file containing calculated numbers for a specific workpiece material's machining properties when cut by a specific cutting tool material and is necessary for force to predict cutting forces. Select an output directory and then select OK. Notice that the message area indicates that optimization has been turned on. We are now ready to run force and collect data. Once the simulation is complete, we can view the force charts. The charts provide a graphical representation of the data generated by force. There are four charts available. Currently only the force chart is being displayed. Let's also display the chip thickness chart and show only tool number one. So if we make the assumption that the NC program which is currently loaded in Vericut ran well on the CNC machine, then we can use the chart's information to obtain chip thickness and force limit values we want to use in Tool Manager. We can hover the mouse over desired force and chip thickness points and get specific values. For tool 1 force, let's use 300, and for chip thickness, let's use 0 0.0033. And for tool 2 force, let's use 300, and for chip thickness, let's use 0 0.0038. Here's a side note. Clicking on a chart will cause the specific line to be highlighted in the NC program panel. Now that we have obtained what we believe are good values to limit force and chip thickness, we can now open Tool Manager and enter the data into the Tool Force Data tab. And then save the file for future optimizations. We can now run force in optimize mode. We just need to specify the optimized file name, select OK, and run the simulation. Once the simulation has ended, we can close the savings calculator window and select no to the optimization prompt. The optimized NC program has now been output. Let's review the force charts and overlay the original toolpath on top of the optimized toolpath. Notice that the force legend shows us which color is the original and which color is the optimized toolpath. Also notice that the force and chip thickness have been optimized based on the data we provided in the tool force data tab. We can also compare the two toolpaths with Vericut's compare NC program files. This window enables you to select and compare the original NC program file with the optimized NC program file. Notice that the optimized NC program has lines added, one motion block broken up into segments in order to get a better optimization. This is based on the Add More Cuts setting we provided in the Tool Force Data tab. And that's it. For more information on Force, see the Vericut Help. If you would like a copy of this force training session, please contact support.